Hi everyone, here's Sihan. Today we will modeling we will we'll going to model this this chair and basically it's made out of a uh, loft and just manipulating the control points. So now we will start from scratch. First of all open Rhino and uh, you can go to the right view and also I have uh, created some uh, reference photos for this and let me see where is it so da, 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 da. So now, so you just basically you can do that. You just I have here a picture, and you can drag it into Rhino window, and open it as a picture like this. I think I will provide a um, picture in the end of the at the beginning of the videos so you can just uh, screenshot it and paste it paste it into Rhino. Another picture is that one. I think I will go to the another view, I think. I will go to the the front view. Now it's here. And you can set the you can make the background transparent. For example, you can uh, on the picture and go to the material. Go to use color mask and set it to white and you can increase the tolerance so the white color pixel will be disappear now we have it and uh, next is i will organize my file it's always good to organize your file and i will make a, a layer called um, picture make some Sub layer is not uh, you don't have to but it's always nice to get it right so side is this one change and change object layer so the next is to adjust the high of our picture the high and the scales for example, this is. I think I would draw a line to align it to keep it in the ground. So now we have our side photo and just no, the front photo. Just lock it and go to the front. The it's actually it's the size photo but never mind mm, so go to here here and the highest point I will make a point here so I can see where's the highest point of the another photo and scale it for everybody who also who know how it can be done, can skip the this part of the video. So now we have the reference photo. Now the next thing is you just to you just have to draw the lines. First of all, I will go to the I will make a new layer or rename the layer as line. 
or better curves. It's actually curves. So I will also lock the picture uh, layer. So here now zero. Mm, here is the two roots control control point curve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I will now I hold a tab on the keyboard to lock the direction, and I can also uh, oops a lot, and I also can also do oops do like this just make sure to enable the O snap okay. point and at the end point is here this one this guy so now click suck so we finished the first maybe I will make it Bigger, so it's better to see. So now the points are bigger. It's the presetting of my Rhino. So if you want to see how to, to make the control point bigger, I will make another video. Just left a comment. So adjusting the the control point to match the reference photo. Make sure that this point should not be moved uh, in the Z direction. It's not good because we want to uh, mirror the model later. So so just a little adjustment. Now we can uh, I always make some sub layer for certain important curve so curve one and curve two just change the curve to curve one I will make also another color for it so you can see the difference so now on the layer I would just want to now copy the object to layer so now we can lock the first one and editing the second one. Make sure to to let the points control points show up in the display. Oops. So now just drag it to the top. So So, and I think I'm happy now. Yes, and then after this, you can go to uh, go to the perspective view pod and just drag it to the right position. The first curve and the second curve. As next, just um, select both curves and loft. Also, I will make here um, make here a new layer called loft uh, surface and change the selected surface and change it to the layer, to the surface layer. Now we can uh, 
first of all, you can see if you enable displays the control points, you see here some control points in the middle of the surface. Now we actually we don't have to we don't need the reference photos because it's just really basic. We can uh, try to match the shape by eyes. I'm wondering why I ah I think I will change the color. It's not really to have the blue one can even not see okay let's redo change it to another color now I can see it better the control points just drag these four control points down now it's only time to Play with the control points and to try to match the the shape. I choose this four because I want to make the because it's a. Uh, Simple, I think it's simple to do this, easier to do this. Just drag it down. So the next is I will select these, these four or this three, one, two, three. And use the scale one D two to scale it it in one direction. Something like this, and this also. Now we already have the shape. Like our reference photo. So the next thing is, I mean, you can refine the shape a bit. For example, like this, or here, I use the rotate tool. It's, I think it's this one, the rotate. Rotate it a bit. And now we can we can also drag this ball a bit down to match this curve. Mm, I will also make the side photo a bit to the left. So I can see the reference photo in the front view. Voila. Lock it. I think it's these two control points. To drag it up. This also and let's put here. So now I think we have matched the shape. The last thing. What you can do is just to mirror, and now you have the chair. Quite simple.
And this model modeling uh, technique is uh, good because you can have uh, you can uh, make the shape very quickly and also very simple. So yes, then have a nice day. Bye bye.